Freedom of Information uh, blog website with a guy called Gavin Sheridan, and we're, we're both activists in uh, the area of trying to free information that it, you're entitled to. It. It's your information, it's government information, and it's held. Uh, people are paid to hold this information that's yours. It's, it's, like, it's stuff like... Um, it's FOI requests. You can ask people, can we have this information from the government? So there's a few stories that were, that were pulled from FOI requests. You've got important stories, long-term economic value of NAMA, expenses, stuff like that. And these slides are going to go really quick, so I'm probably just going to wander off the point. But anyway, um, the stories really, while they are important and they make the front page of the newspapers, they're not really important in the broader sense. If you look at freedom of information, from a, 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 take a step back from looking from a story and look for the wider angle on it. So think a little bit bigger. Think instead of asking for the expenses account for John O'Donoghue, ask for the whole database that is held that holds those expense accounts. So ask for how those expense accounts are structured. And imagine that if we could have that, how accountable the government would be. Imagine if we could take all that information and just put it out there and see what happens with it. Imagine how accountable the government would be after that. And that's what we're trying to do. So I'm smart in one way. I'm a journalist, and I focus my attention in a certain direction. I try and get a story. But generally, people are smarter in a certain direction. They focus their intelligence in one way or the other. So I'm asking if you guys could focus your intelligence in, w intelligence in one way and put in one freedom of information request and see what's com what comes back and just put that online. So all those, anyway, FOI globally. Uh, was invented in Sweden. There are some countries that now have FOI acts. Ireland has an FOI act since 1996. Um, it makes us tighter with democracy. It gives us a right to hold something. It gives us a chance to, to reach in and see what's happening inside. So imagine if all of us reached in into one little bit and put it all together and just imagine the hive mind that we could create and see what happens if we put that all together and how accountable the, the operations that we picked stuff out of would become if we consistently did that. The FOI Act 1997 allowed for this stuff. Um, the Justice Department was particularly anti-information, anti-implementation of the FOI Act and that's the result. Ireland is the only country in Europe that does not have an accountable police force. It's the only country that you can't FOI the police force. You can't get anything from the police force. And yesterday you saw the, the story of Terence Wheelock who there was highly questionable circumstances around his death in a police cell, and we have not got an accountable police force. Um, the, the 2003 amendment put costs on it, put uh, extended the rate of time that you can get stuff. Completely off the point now, I'm just going on these random slides. <laughs> There's some information about FOI. You should be putting these things in. You should be just throwing stuff in at the government and see what comes back, and just uploading it online and just seeing what happens. Imagine if you uploaded some random piece of information online. Just one page, just one page, of just one document that you happen to get back from the government. Imagine if you left that online, and in five years' time, that was contextual to something. That was, somebody died in a police cell, and five years' time, somebody can Google search, and something comes up, and just, 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 maybe there's just two or three words. And just imagine the impact that could have, like if all of us did that. There's some things that you can't get. There's some things you can get. It's not, it's not rocket science. There's personal information. I can't FOI your salary, or if, even if you're a public servant, I can't FOI all your information. But I can FOI general data. And if we all FOI just, just certain small things and put it up online, what could happen? Just, just think about that. Like, How accountable would the government be if we all FOI that? And in five years' time, we could cross-reference all that stuff with the technology that's developing today. Imagine if we could just get stuff and then like, analyze, uh, like, analyze it through like, some technology. Now in analysis, you can do that now. You can, get, like, you can pick words out of stuff and cross-reference them. And like, like, just take the tribunal, the tribunal reports. You get that. Analyze it. You FOI the tribunal reports, analyze it, cross-reference it against po uh, political donations. Cross-reference that against the people who are going to be involved in NAMA. Cross-reference that against like Fine Gael politicians. Cross-reference that against Fine Gael politicians. See what happens. Imagine the stories that could just pull out like so. I'm just asking you guys, just please, just send in an FOI tomorrow. Pick some random intelligence that you have. I've come, yeah, I've gone off this. Just pick some random intelligence that you have, FOI it, see what comes back, upload it online, Google will pick it up, you don't even have to tell anybody. Maybe you work in a public body, just FOI it, put it up online and see what happens. That's all I'm asking. That's the end of what was my talk. <laughs>